Today we are looking into a single way strategy for long positions only using the RSI and the ADX and as simple as it might look this strategy does surprisingly well. In fact it was proposed by someone from the comment section and as it happens the parameters seemed familiar and convincing at the same time so I decided to give it a try and share the results which were not disappointing the equity curve had an almost constant increase throughout the backtest period reaching a peak of 360 percent in return and if you are new to this channel the code is available for download from the link in the description and don't forget to support by subscribing leaving a comment we like to hear new ideas just like the one this video is all about so this strategy is the following we're using the daily time frame and we enter a long position when the two days rsi is below the 25 and the ADX 14 is above the value of 20 and we close a long position when the RSI crosses above the value of 75. On top of these conditions I had to add two more conditions to avoid false signals and trades being opened for too long when the RSI struggles below the threshold value of 75. So the first is a simple moving average condition. When the candles are trading above the moving average curve, we have an uptrend and only in this case we are allowing for long positions to be taken. And the second one is a stop loss value, which is taken as the lowest price among the last two candles, minus a certain percentage that I took equal to 2% for the sake of this backtest. You might want to change this value if you are testing over different values, but for this video, I only took 2%. In other words, when we have a long trade, we look at the lowest price of the current candle or the lowest price of the previous candle, whichever has the lowest value. And then we subtract 2% and this is where our stop loss is positioned. Note that a trade can still be closed when the RSI crosses above 75, but if not, we still have the stop loss value in case the market goes down. So I added these conditions in Python and ran a back test. I'll walk you through the code and we will see where this strategy will lead. So we can load any kind of data. It can be stocks or Forex. Here I'm using the Russell 1000 from 2011 up to 2021. So this is 10 years of data. I'm cleaning the days where we had no movements. We're resetting the index and we're printing our data frame. Then I'm adding the exponential moving average of length 200 for the trend detection and the RSI with length equal to as well as the uh, 14 length ADX as you can see using this line here the function ADX from the pandas underscore technical analysis package. Again we are cleaning the data frame and resetting the index and printing a slice of our data frame just to check how many columns and what are the titles of these columns that we are going to be using. Then I'm using a function called add EMA signal. I'm not going through the details in brief. This is where you say, for example, I would like to have six candles trading above or below the uh, moving average curve, in which case we are returning a signal. Is it an uptrend or a downtrend? This number can be changed. Of course, I took six because I've used this number and this particular function in previous videos and it was working well so far so we're going to keep it as is and we are adding a function called total signal this is where we're going to uh, compute our signal if we are having an entry uh, for a long position or not for i in range from zero up to the length of the data frame meaning i'm checking every row or every day in my data frame and I'm checking if the RSI of the current day is below or equal to 25. You might remove the equal sign. It doesn't make a big difference for this strategy. And at the same time, the ADX is above 20. And we have an EMA signal that is equal to 2, meaning the last six consecutive candles are trading above the moving average curve. So when these three conditions are met, we have a signal equal to two. I'm storing this, meaning I have an entry signal for a long position. And we're adding this into our data frame. We are printing the data frame just to check where do we have a signal that is different from zero, meaning where do we have those buying or long uh, positions. And these are right here, so we can check the values. We can visualize our signals on the chart, on the bar chart. So these are the purple points that you can see here. I'm not going through all the details. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible because these functions and this method have been used many different times on this channel in the previous videos. If you would like to check the details, just watch some of the previous videos where we are detailing these uh, lines. Some of the videos can go through the details line by line. If you check a different playlist where I'm teaching Python 
and um, how to use Python for algorithmic trading. So anyway, back to our data, we can see that we have those buying signals here. Let's take a slice or a zoom in into our data. So the candles are trading above the EMA curve. And at the same time, we have the conditions are met. Here we have a low RSI, which is not seen on the graph, but we trust our program. And at the same time, the ADX is above 20. So these three consecutive points or four consecutive points are almost the same signal. And as we can see, although this part is a small retracement in the price, these are good entry signals still, if we know when to exit the trade. So now for the backtesting part, I'm using backtesting.py package. I will not go through the details also in this video because this function and this package we have been using over and over in the previous videos on this channel. Just the percentage for the stop loss, if you remember, we are taking the lowest price minus 2%. For example, this percentage can be modified in this variable here. So I'm taking 2%. Let's keep it this way for the backtest. And at first, if we have any trades going on, so meaning if the length of the trades list is positive, I'm going to check if this trade has been opened for more than, let's say, 1000 days or 100 days or 10 days. I kept it open for you. We're not really using this condition in this video, but you might want to use it as an additional condition here. For example, if you would like um, a trade to be opened only for 10 days, then to be closed, you might decrease this to 10. Now I'm putting 1000, so this part doesn't interfere into our backtest. The second condition to close is that the RSI should exceed 75 or if you have a short position, which is not the case in this strategy, the RSI is below 25. I kept these lines here in the code just in case you would like to improve this strategy to take into account as well the short positions. So I kept everything. You might want to change these and apply your own modifications. Now, if the signal is equal to two, meaning we have an entry position and the length of the trades is equal to zero, meaning we don't have an open trade. We are allowing only one trade at a time on the market. We don't want overlapping trades to be opened simultaneously. This is where we're going to apply our stop loss value. So stop loss one is equal to the minimum between the current candles low or the previous candles low and whichever has or provides the lowest price. We're going to multiply by one minus this percentage, which is 2% here. And we are entering the market with a buying position using the stop loss value and the size of our uh, trade which is taken to be 99% of our current equity. I'm starting my backtest with $1,000 in cash, a margin of one over five or a leverage one to five. No commissions just to be able to compare this strategy with different strategies that we have applied before and backtested before, discarding any additional parameters such as the commissions, the swap and the uh, fees of trading. These are the results of the backtest. We have 200% in return. The equity peak is 3,595. Remember that we started with 1,000. We have a win rate of 73%, which is excellent. We have 102 trades in total. This means 10 trades per year, which is not bad as well on the daily time frame. And if we plot the equity curve, we have a constant increase from the start of our trading until the, uh, the last couple of years, I would say we have uh, the small drawdown in some cases. So we can look and analyze, in fact, why is this happening? We have a choppy market here, very steep fall in the price, as we can see here. And it took some time to climb back above the moving average curve. Something very important to take into account here is that I didn't modify any of the values or the parameters suggested in uh, in the comment section. So the RSI is kept to two, just as in the comment and the ADX to 14 and the EMA, the exponential moving average is a length 200, just as we have seen here. These can be still tuned. You might want to try this on different stocks or different markets maybe, and maybe change these values until you get better results and uh, get something more satisfying. So that's it for this simple strategy. I hope you guys liked it. I'll share the code in a link in the description. You might want to download it and experiment on it. It's an easy and short code. It's something very good for medium or beginners in this field. Enjoy it. Until our next video, trade safe and see you next time.